Look, I've had a fair bit of exposure to mental health issues uh, through a close member of my family. Uh, it's been a long journey and it's one that has given me uh, tremendous insight into um, what it is to experience this uh, and also what it is for a family member to be supporting people with mental health issues. Uh, and uh, so it's been um, quite a, a learning experience for me over the last uh, 14 or 15 years. Look, for many years I was a professional uh, NRL referee, uh, travelling around the countryside and internationally refereeing rugby league games at the highest level. Uh, I know what it's like to experience pressure when you're in front of 50,000 people, you have a million people that are watching you on television, uh, every decision that you make is being analysed and uh, a lot of money rests on the decisions um, that I made on the football field. And of course you come under incredible media scrutiny. So I know what pressure is like from that, that point of view. But that pressure is external pressure uh, and, it's, and in some ways uh, it's nowhere near the pressure that uh, people feel who have mental health issues that um, feel that pressure internally uh, and um, can't really uh, explain to people um, you know, that feeling that they have, that feeling of hopelessness, that feeling of darkness, of blackness. The incidence of mental health issues in society um, is very high uh, and in some ways it's a, it's a hidden epidemic because uh, you don't always see the, um, the problems that people are facing when they're internal. Uh, I think the other thing that um, I've learned is that uh, there's a lot of misunderstanding, a lot of stereotyping uh, about mental health issues and, uh, and I've learned that uh, those stereotypes are, you know, are, are inaccurate. It's also something can, that can affect anybody and does affect anybody. It's very frustrating for the person who suffers from mental health issues. It's internal. Um, it's difficult sometimes to see the problem um, for others that are caring, which makes it frustrating for everybody. And of course, you can't go and put a bandage uh, around somebody and, and help them with their mental health issue. It's far deeper and complex than that. And I think that's the other thing that I've really learned is that the human brain um, and the human psyche is very complex, very sensitive, and uh, therefore um, we need to treat it with great sensitivity as well. Look, I think it's important that um, people don't internalise um, some of the issues that they're feeling. It's really important that they seek professional help uh, and tell their, their close loved ones some of the issues that they're going through. Now, although they may not understand it in the first instance, it's important that you, know, you do actually go out and uh, talk to people about it. There is always hope uh, that there's always um, light at the end of the tunnel. Um, if you get the right help, uh, if you get the right treatment, uh, that will very much help you cope with some of the issues um, that you're coping with at the moment. Uh, I know how frustrating it is. Um, I know how frustrating it must be when people don't seem to understand. It might seem like there's no future, but uh, I'd just like to say that there is future, there is help, uh, and there is ultimately hope.